All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep Midlife Music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Yeah, man, we we definitely going to have to touch on this. This going to have to be an episode. We really touch on this on the podcast to you guys. So make sure y'all click that link pinned at the top of the comments. And let's get to it, man, as Candace Owens. Um, and the link to the podcast show is pinned at the top of the comment section. Salute to everybody, man. We almost had 2,500 subscribers. So I appreciate all the new subscribers that we get every day. Again, I'll put the link at the top of the comments. I want to talk about what Candace Owens did. And I know T.I. is living somewhere right now uh, after what she just did this morning. Now, I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, this morning, I got a notification uh, from the Breakfast Club this morning. And I saw Candace Owens on the Breakfast Club. So normally, I don't like anything about Candace Owens. But I said, you know what? Let me see what, what's going on with this situation. So I actually clicked play on the video uh, from the Breakfast Club on the interview. Now, for everybody who wants to know what's going on, all you got to do is go to the Breakfast Club this morning. Uh, they did an interview with Candace Owens about an hour or so long. And in that interview, uh, you can go to, I think it's like, you can just start it like at the 11-minute mark so that you can get a full gist of what she was talking about. But obviously, she was up there talking about politics, pushing her her narrative that she wanted to push, you know, saying whatever she wanted to say. But she ended up going in and going off on T.I. out of the blue. And she went back to that, uh, I don't know if you guys remember where her and T.I. had, I forgot how it happened. I didn't really watch the episode, but I kind of remember seeing it. Her and T.I. apparently had linked up for some type of event where they were debating or something like that. And she go calling herself exposing T.I. Now, she says, first of all, that T.I., you know what I'm saying, basically she was calling him a fraud for more than lack of better words. She was saying that T.I. is one way he was, she was like, she said that T.I. was fronting for the people. He was more conservative behind the scenes than what he push on in the public. And he was just putting on a circus show and an act for all the people. But this is where she crossed the line. Even though that, that you know what I'm saying, she, she going crazy talking that on, on, on tip this morning. She came out and tried to link him to P. Diddy. She said, and with all the P. Diddy allegations and him around P. Diddy, who knows who's controlling who? What? Oh, say that again. She said, and with all the P. Diddy allegations, I, 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 I'll, see, I'll, I'll tell you something. And she says, all the, you got to listen to what she said because she basically tried to insinuate that T.I., now, because we've all seen T.I. hanging around Diddy before in the past. You know what I'm saying? They were all at big events together, all the rappers and stuff like that. So we've seen, you know, the video on YouTube where all those guys are kicking it together. But she insinuated something different because she said, you know, with all the allegations, everything that's coming out with, with P. Diddy now. If I'm T.I., bro, bro, let me tell you something, man. Bro, you ain't fit. Hey, hold on. Oh, 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 you know, man, hold on one second, y'all. Hold on. Y'all smash your like. Can y'all hear me? Press one in the comments if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me in the comments. All right, so everybody can hear me. All right, man. So I want y'all to, I want y'all to hear what she said, bro. You know, it is what it is, man. I want y'all to hear what, bro. This girl right here. I'm tell y'all something, man. Candace Owens, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. Uh, she did it on this one, bro. Oh, she did it on this one. Um, I want y'all to hear this real quick. T.I. is a trash person. You know, I'll say that a thousand times over because first and foremost, I had... She said T.I. is a trash person. I'll say that a thousand times over. She, so she calls T.I. a trash person out of nowhere. Now, I want y'all to hear what else she had to say. 
spoken to T.I. prior to that event. Like, T.I. was the only person on stage that I actually knew. Um, and for the same reason I met you, Kanye had put us in touch, we had talked, and I know that T.I. thinks more conservatively. So he was literally putting on a show. Mm. And so it just makes me wonder, especially with all the stuff that, like, came out in the Diddy lawsuit, like, who's controlling T.I.? Because that was wild. Huh? It made you wonder, with all the stuff that's coming out in the P. Diddy lawsuit, who's controlling T.I.? Whoa! In the Diddy lawsuit, the Diddy lawsuit was about allegations of certain types of abuse. What are you talking about with T.I. and who's controlling who? This woman is absolutely disgusting, what she said. That was that was disgusting, what she said. Because, see, what you did was, I'm going to say it again. The, the P. Diddy allegations was all about allegations of P. Diddy and alleged, alleged you know what type of a, a assault. For you to even say and to put T.I. and say, oh, yeah, well, who's controlling who? Are you serious? Is this woman serious? If I'm T.I., bro, I'm telling you right now, I know T.I. boiling somewhere right now, she said. Because I'm going to tell you something, bro. One thing you're not going to do is you're not, <clears throat> you're not going to put <clears throat> them type allegations that's surrounding Puff. You ain't going to put them on me if I'm a, I'm a grown man. Candace Owens, bro. What she did right there, bro, that's 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 low, bro. She didn't have to go there, bro. She didn't have to go there, bro. That's that's definitely low, bro. Candace Owens did not have to go where she went, man. And like I said, if I'm if I'm TI man, bro, I'm heated. Like you put my name in the in the puff allegations, like are you serious? And then think about how she said it, y'all. She said who's controlling who? What are you so what are you trying to say? What were you trying to say, Candace? You trying to say something going on with, with Tip and P. Diddy? Bro, I'm telling y'all this right now, man. And y'all need to go watch that interview today on the Breakfast Club. Shout out to the Breakfast Club, man. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? I don't really rock with them like that. But I had to, you know, shout them out on this interview because, uh, <clears throat> you know, her saying this is where this interview came from. And I don't know why I click. I know we don't watch their they interviews too much. Uh, for the last few years, I haven't really watched those two dudes, man, because I they to me the show fell off. But something made me click this interview this morning with Candace Owens, man. And when she said that, bro, I said, "What in the world, bro?" Ti gonna be on a hundred hot, bro. Now somebody in the comment section said, "If I were Ti, I would sue her. He might sue her, bro." Uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. T.I. might sue this woman for saying that, bro. You can't put nobody on no, you can't put no allegations on no man like that. You don't have no proof. You over here trying to link him in a P. Diddy situation, talking about some who's controlling who. Are you crazy? Do you know what P. Diddy's allegations, the allegations that are against P. Diddy? P. Diddy have allegations of him doing things that are that are physical to other other brothers. What are you talking about? Those are allegations. So you trying to put T.I. under that blanket? Like, you talking about absolute messy. <laughs> Candace Owens, bro. That interview that I that and I and after she said that, like after she said that, I watched like a minute more and I just couldn't listen to it no more, man. I already was like just I don't like the way she get down, bro, because like, bro, listen, you ain't had to do that. Ain't nobody bring up TI name but you. You brought up TI name. And I'm just sitting up there like, dang, dog. You know what I mean? What do you mean T.I. ain't suing her over no opinion? What are you talking about? She literally said you cannot do stuff like she's trying to like throw him in that room. What are you talking about? Did you hear what she said? Did you hear what she said? Right? So you know what that is? You know what that's called, sir? Defamation of character. Defamation of character. Then she said that T.I. wasn't what he claimed to be saying that he more conservative and more this behind the scenes than he is and he faking for the people. That's what she said too. So she called out his character as well. I know T.I. going to respond to this. As soon as T.I. see this, he, he, he going to respond. I know he might be asleep early in the morning this morning, but he going to have to respond to this because ain't no way you finna put my name with, with any on, under any of them P. Diddy allegations and think that's going to slide or think that's going to walk, man. And I just can't believe that Candace Owens. Well, I can't believe it because that's how I can't. I mean, Candace Owens, it ain't no, she don't have no limit, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? She don't have no limit, man. You feel me? Straight up, bro. She don't have no limit, man. And so, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, to the dude who said Hollywood getting exposed, I mean, look, bro. If you're doing something wrong, it's always going to come to the light. All I'm saying is that Candace Owens out here, the one that's telling people this, that, and the third. Like, she's out here dictating who's what is right and what is wrong. She did. She out here talking about who faking and who not. Come on, bro. The second them people throw Candace Owens out, what's she going to do? The second them people throw Candace Owens out of her, their grace, what is Candace Owens going to do? Just think about it. I'm, I'm just being honest with y'all. Think about it. That's crazy what she said, though. I suggest everybody go look at that Breakfast Club interview this morning. I can't believe she said that. Bro, I can't believe she said that. She, 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 P. Diddy ain't had nothing to do with that. And remember, y'all, uh, the Breakfast Club was used to be ran by, and which, and notice Charlotte Ugly and DJ Envy, they didn't say nothing when she said P. Diddy name. Because remember, they was cool with Puff. Because didn't the Breakfast Club used to be up under revolt? The Breakfast Club, didn't it used to be up under revolt for a minute? Now it's under iHeartRadio. If I'm not mistaken, I thought the Breakfast Club used to be up under revolt. They was all cool with Puff. So for her to say that, wow. <laughs> On the air, and y'all notice that Charlamagne, the main ain't hit back when she is which is when she said that. Oh, I know tip gonna be hot, boy. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, they aired that part, bro. <laughs> she said, Hey, listen, man. She called T.I. out of nowhere and linked this man with under P. Diddy. She says that who's I want it makes you wonder who's controlling who. What? What do you mean? Wow. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember back in the day, I remember seeing uh, Puff go on the Breakfast Club. So I know they, they didn't feel comfortable with her bringing up Diddy name like that. I know they didn't. She did that out the blue, bro. Like, <laughs> boy, if I was T.I., I'd be red hot. You're not finna put me up under no allegations like that. No, no dice. That's not finna happen. You know what I mean? So... Like I said, and then she said, T.I. put on the front for the people. Yeah, I, I talked to him. He's the only one I knew behind the scenes, and I spoke with him, and he's way more conservative than he puts on. He went on there and put on a whole circus show. I'm like, what? She says, and with the P. Diddy allegations and him being up under P. Diddy, it makes you wonder who's controlling who. What? <laughs> what you hold up? Time out, time out, time out. What do P. Diddy allegations have to do with this kid? <laughs> what do P. Diddy allegations have to do with T.I. Make it make sense, baby. Make it make sense, man. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. How did Candace Owens even get on the scene, y'all? Somebody got to tell me this in the comment section. Because I don't even know how Candace Owens got on the scene. How did she get, like, somebody in the comment section tell me how Candace Owens got, um, how did she get, like, big? How did she blow up, like, as far as being, like, a celeb almost. How did she get on the scene? So, can somebody in the comment section tell me that? Because I just remember one day hearing everybody talking about her and nobody liking her. And I was just wondering, like, how did she blow up? Oh, yeah, she did say something about Kanye. She said Kanye is the one who introduced her to uh, T.I., to, 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 I believe she said that. So that it was Kanye who put her on? You said it was Kanye who put her on? Okay, she was saying, okay, she was just saying something. Okay. All right. Uh, I didn't, because I didn't know. I just kind of seen it because I ain't deep into politics like that. I don't get into the pol political game. You understand what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do all that because that political game is a whole different monster. I don't get into that. You know what I'm saying? Once you start getting to people, man, people take politics way more serious than they take anything else. You know what I mean? The politic, the politic games ain't no joke. So, yeah, I don't get into no politics. You said what? What she say? Let me see. You say your nephew. What you mean I ain't gonna see them uh, comments? What you mean, uh, not Joel? I'm reading her comment right now. She said that her nephew hung with him. He's a weirdo. You hung with who? With with Puff or with uh, Ti? Who you talking about? You said Puff or Tia? Who you talking about? 
know what I mean? Michael Shepard, <clears throat> you said that right there. Do you know T.I. or do you know Tiny? Uh, you said they've been doing stuff for years. Do you know them personally? When did you meet them? And do you know Candace Owens? Have you ever met Candace Owens? Let, let me start with the beginning of your question, Michael Shepard. Uh, do you know, do you, have you ever met Candace Owens? Uh, to the brother Michael Shepard, have you ever met Candace Owens? Have you ever met her before? Have you ever met her before? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Mike, Michael Shepard, I want you to answer that. Answer the question. Because you said something, and I'm putting your comment on the screen. Um, you said, uh, you said Candace telling the truth. I'm asking you, have you ever met Candace Owens before? Do you know Candace Owens personally? Do you know who she is? Have you ever kicked it with her? Have you ever spent a day with her? Oh, you have? Where did you, okay, where did you meet Candace Owens at, dog? Where did you, where, where you kick it with her? How, where you know her from? How you know her? How, how do you know Candace Owens, man? I need, I want to know this story. You say yes and yes. So you know Candace Owens, you kicked it with her before. Where did you meet her at? Like, how did you know her? How, how did you, how do you know Candace Owens? No, you keep saying yes, but I didn't ask you that. I asked you, how did you, how do you know her? Where do you know Candace Owens from? Where do you know her from, dog? Because you said she's telling the truth. So you say you know her. So I'm saying, where do you know her from? No, no, I ain't asked you that, dog. See, I'm out. See, hey, see, like, dude, this dude right here is a clown. You're blocked, dog. Get out of here, bro. You're blocked. You're a liar, bro. You're a liar, bro. You're blocked, bro. You're a liar, bro. You're a liar and you're blocked. You're a liar and you're blocked, sir. You're blocked. I don't have no time for no foolishness this morning. It's too early for this stuff, bro. Real talk. I ain't even had scrambled eggs and cheese yet. You coming here with all this capping. You're blocked. I'm talking about he don't. I asked you a question. Then you want to ask me a question. Hell no. The hell wrong with you, man. So you don't know her. You never met Tip. You never met Tiny. But you sitting up here talking like you know the whole family. Man, sit down. Like I said before, bro, it's a lot of capping going on around here. It's a lot of capping going on around here. How he ain't never, how he ain't never meet the people, but he gonna say that. Then I ask him a question. Then he gonna be funny. This is what happens, y'all. This is why you always gotta keep like ethering dudes online because if not, bro, what they gonna do is they gonna lie, man. They gonna lie. So when you ask them. Now he can't make up no lie real quick. It's no lie he can make up. Because I'm, I'm finna ask him real questions. Okay, when you met her? Where you met her? You know what I'm saying? How long y'all kicked it? How you know her? Then he got to keep making up new lies. See what I'm saying? Dudes are sad, bro. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. If you don't know her, just say, bro, I don't know her, man. I believe her. Just say that. Don't say, yeah, man, she's telling the truth. Then when I ask you if you know her, you gonna lie talking about yeah you know her. knowing good and well you don't know the woman cut it out bro and i know you don't know ti and tiny but you'll sit up here talking about what they did but you don't even know them it can make sense playboy you gotta make that make sense you gotta make that make sense you don't know ti or tiny but you're gonna sit up here and talk about what they doing in a, in a private life man cut it out bro cut it out man this type of stuff I'll be trying to tell y'all about, man. You know what I mean? Now, if you're talking about something you've seen in the public, in the area, but we saw, okay, I understand that. But you ain't even never met her nor them. So you basically just picking a side you believe in. I, can't, I don't respect nobody like that, bro. Just keep it real. Just say, yo, look, man, I believe her more than what I believe tip from what I've seen from the outside. Just say that. You ain't got to come in here lying, talking about, yeah, man, I know her, man. And then when I ask you where you know her from, you got a hundred other deflections. You going to ask me, do I know her? I know I asked you. You the one said, you the one said that she, she ain't lying and she a good, she, you know what I'm saying? She the truth. Make it make sense, homie. Make it make sense. Dudes be coming on YouTube just lying for no reason, bro. Ain't got no reason to lie, bro. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense whatsoever, bro. My man, you can vote for whoever you want to vote for. I don't get into that.
I don't get into none of that stuff, bro. I just want to know why that dude said something and he was lying. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I really don't, to be honest with you, I don't know much about Candace Owens. I just heard her name one day and I heard a lot of people in my community that don't like her. And I just, I, I mean, I really didn't pay no attention to her. I don't really pay attention to people like that. You know what I'm saying? I'll be honest with y'all. I don't. I'm not one of these dudes who's a sports guy who be more into the politics. I I clicked the video today because I wanted to see about her and hear what she was talking about. But when I heard her bring up Ti and started going in on Ti for no reason, and then she tried to link Ti into with Diddy, talking about the P Diddy allegations. I'm like, what? Huh? How 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 you putting Ti up under P Diddy? Talking about the P Diddy allegations and Ti and you know what I'm saying who's controlling who? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because she could have easily said, oh, well, Puff political stance, because he have made that in the past. I do remember that. I remember when it was 106 in part, that Puff would be up there on 106 in part. You understand what I'm saying? With that uh, uh, vote shirt on. I do remember all that. You know what I'm saying? So she would have said that. That's different. She brought up Puff's allegations. The only type of allegations P. Diddy got going on right now is a different type of allegation. You know what I mean? So I'm just telling y'all what it is. Hey, man, you say she speak truth, man. I don't know. I don't, listen, man. I don't know. I ain't heard her enough. I know one thing, though. That stuff she said about them P. Diddy allegations, man, she better have proof with, with T.I. She better have proof. Can't be saying that type of stuff. Mm -mm. Nah, well, you know, like I said before, man, I just clicked the interview today because I heard everybody talking about this woman before. And I was just like, man, I don't really pay no much attention to her like that, man. Like, like I said, bro, I'm be honest with y'all. I'm not one of these dudes who play basketball who act like that I'm that much into the p political game, man. I, I don't get into all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't get into all the political game, man. I'll be honest with y'all, man. I mind my own damn business and stay out of that stuff, man. Be honest with you. You know? So a lot of stuff that's going on in politics, I really don't I, I don't know about. My whole life basically have been around basketball. That's why I don't be understanding sometimes why basketball players be trying to get into politics because a lot of these a lot of those guys, they be when you're playing pro ball, you focus on basketball most of your time. Film study, basketball. Like to me, if you into something, you you got you probably want to be deep into that type of stuff, man. You don't want to be halfway in, halfway out. You know what I mean? Straight up, man. So, I mean, y'all let me know what y'all feel. I just ain't like dude lying, talking about he knew her. Then I asked him where he knew her from. He gonna ask me, do I know her? I think I asked you, do you know? Her? I ask you, do you know her? That's what I ask you. Do you know her? I ain't gonna turn around after I embarrass him because he ain't think I was gonna ask him that question. He ain't gonna turn around talking about something. Well, do you know? No, I ask you. Man, got me got angry that this early this man. Let me go get some orange juice and stuff, man. Get my day started, man. Man, man, I'm coming here already. Got me turned up. Y'all, man, y'all, man, bro, man. Hey, man, people on YouTube, crazy, man. Bro, just keep it 100, bro. Just say, just say, yo, look, man, I tend to agree with what she said. I believe her. You ain't got to lie say you know her. Then when I ask you, if if you really knew her, if I asked you where you knew her from, you would have instantly said where you knew her from or where you met her at or, oh, we went to school together or something like that. But you lied, so you had to cut, you had to wait. Then you had to try to deflect because you couldn't come up with no quick enough excuse. Come on, bro. Make it make sense, playboy. Make it make sense. So I am going to look to see if T.I. respond, though. I want to see if T.I. respond to this. Because <laughs> she, she had to throw that T.I. shot at there this morning. I want to see if T.I. respond to this. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all feel. Let me know what y'all think, man. You know what I mean? Candace Owens on came out here saying some stuff. So, like, share, subscribe, man. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast show either, man. 
you know, salute to everybody watching this video, man. And don't put me in. I ain't in no political games. I don't play them political games. I leave that for all the political people. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? My boy LB, they into the politics and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I think Kwame Brown might be in the politics and stuff like that. I ain't in no politics like that, man. You know what I mean? I don't get into all that. And there ain't no disrespect towards them because, you know, some people are interested, like, deeply in that stuff. I used to like politics, but I stopped watching that stuff, man. I seen how, man, politics, the politics game worse than basketball, man. When I seen that, man, I said, man, ain't no way in the world. Boy, and people in politics, bro, they get more upset than they do about basketball. Y'all think... Y'all think these LeBron James fans or something. Man, you start going, you start talking politics and get on one side of the polit political uh, spectrum and see what happens. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe. Man. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Peace.